What's going on, everyone? So let me tell you a quick little story about my relationship with an Infusionsoft plugin you may know as Spiffy. So I've had a Spiffy account for a couple of years now, two, maybe three years, um, since right around when they um, introduced their product. And um, I, I emphasize that I've had an account because I wasn't actually using it. I wasn't a Spiffy user until just a few months ago. And, and here's why. When I first logged into Spiffy, um, I didn't find it very intuitive. I struggled to get the uh, you know the, the order form to look the way that I wanted, um, and it just wasn't the juice wasn't worth the squeeze. So I put it on the back burner and figured, you know what, I'll let them keep working on this and I'll circle back to it at some point. Um, well, I think I waited uh, too long, or maybe I waited just long enough because a couple months ago I logged in again to check Spiffy out, and holy smokes, it is it's stupid easy, it's stupid simple, and it is stupid sexy. Um, so I'm really excited about it. Uh, they've come a long way. Uh, I am personal friends with with uh, Michael and Jeremy, the guys who founded it, but I'm not endorsing Spiffy because of our friendship. I'm endorsing it because I use it uh, and I'm excited about it. I actually, three months ago or a couple months ago, I built three order forms um, and then I paused. I said, wait, I got to record a blog post for this or I got to record a video for my YouTube channel because people need to see just how simple it is. So let me show you behind the curtains. Uh, it's been on my to-do list for way too long. All right, so here is um, one of my order forms in Infusionsoft. And uh, Spiffy uh, also recently released an update that it works with the shopping cart as well. So uh, if you know it as the, the order form um, plugin or wrapper, uh, it is that, but it's also the shopping cart tool uh, now. So here is one of my order forms, and I've actually done some custom work to this. Uh, it took me a little while. I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, but I added a terms and conditions checkbox. Um, I've got my Facebook pixel in here and some Google Tag Manager tracking code. Got some some just some text here in the middle. And then at the bottom down here, I have some testimonials. So um, let's take a look at what this um, order form currently looks like, right? So this is all native Infusionsoft, right? I've added my own banner up here. Um, I've given some color to this. Uh, I changed the color there. Uh, terms and conditions checkbox looks pretty good. I was proud of that. And then I even added a few testimonials and a link to my terms and conditions at the bottom. So all in all, um, you know, this is functional and this is really what I've been working with for the last several years. Now, I want to leave this open, but what we're going to do is switch to a spiffy theme. And I'm going to show you, you know, just how simple it is to, to get started uh, because it's probably much easier than you might think. So the first thing I'm going to do is switch off of my my theme and switch to a generic spiffy theme that I've created. So uh, over here I have my order form themes, uh, and I really just created a very simple one. Uh, let's preview it. You can see there's no customizations. So I wanted to go back to like the bare bones because when I add the spiffy code to this, I didn't want it to be conflicting with the customizations and, and changes that I had made there. So you can see I've got a very blank um, theme here. And uh, if we click on edit, um, I think the only things I've added are like my Facebook pixel code and my Google uh, Tag Manager code, that's, that, that's it. The other HTML sections are all blank. Uh, there is no header image, and, and that's on purpose as well. Um, so let's just go ahead and switch this order form theme to the generic spiffy theme. Okay, so that is now live. Uh, if we go back to this order form and open this in a new tab, uh, you can see that's it. It doesn't have any of those sexy, fancy things. Actually, sexy is probably the wrong word. It doesn't have any of those custom things that I've added. Uh, it just has that um, blank theme. All right, so now we're gonna log into Spiffy. And um, this is the, the quick part, but you do need a Spiffy account. So if you're not a Spiffy user yet, you'll wanna sign up for Spiffy. There's a link somewhere below this video. Um, and let's just add a new order form. And um, we'll call this Referral Pod, which is the name of my course. Um, you can choose from their template library. They've got a, a template here. Let's just go with blank for now, create and edit. Um, and the Spiffy Builder, allows you to add elements, right? The way you might in, uh, let's see, branding elements, there you go. The way you might in WordPress or in the you know landing page builders that we use or the email builder, you can just drag out uh, different elements here. So let's go ahead and add a header image and I'll update that to go to, um, here we go. I think we have 
monkey pad virtual courses and I'll just click OK so there we have it let's pause while that ambulance drives by okay so I have my header added uh, we can actually update uh, the background color for that particular section so let's go F9 F6 F0 happens to be one of my color codes um, and that's it you could make additional changes to this order form you can keep adding elements but for the sake of simplicity uh, let's just go ahead and publish um, and it should once it's published right uh, then you can grab this code for it um, and we just need to copy that code and hop over here to our order form and we just need to add this code right to the header on the order form so let's go ahead and save all and then what we can do is preview this so open link in new tab and now instead of loading the generic Infusionsoft order form it loads the order form with my spiffy wrapper and you can see that right away it it just looks a lot cleaner um, it still has the upsell section it has the price point it has the description it's two columns instead of one um, it's got a link at the bottom to my terms privacy etc so it just is you know that simple that's all you need and your order forms are mobile responsive now um, what makes spiffy I guess so valuable is not just this ability to create quick and easy and mobile responsive drag and drop order forms uh, but beyond beyond that stuff uh, there's also a library of custom code uh, snippets that you can use to add um, advanced features to your order forms like a quantity selector or um, custom fields or one click upsells um, hiding certain checkout types for specific order forms, right? Stuff that you just can't natively do very easily. They've created these little custom snippets that work nicely and, and give you exactly that, right? So one thing you've probably been hearing uh, a fair amount about recently is the GDPR compliance snippet um, or the GDPR uh, legislation. And so Spiffy has released a compliance snippet specifically for that. Let me show you how that works in case you're a Spiffy user and you want your uh, order forms to be GDPR compliant. So they give you this copy and paste little snippet code. Um, you're going to go into first your uh, admin section and create three custom fields. Okay, so those three fields are going to be um, terms agree, privacy agree, and GDPR marketing opt-in. You can change them, uh, but the goal is we need containers, text fields, that we can store a timestamp into when somebody agrees to either your terms and conditions, your privacy statement, or uh, specifically uh, gives consent for GDPR marketing, right? So uh, let's go to our HTML area, let's go to the, the footer down here, and let's just paste this section in. So you can see I've got um, this code pasted in directly from this GDPR um, text swipe file that they've given us. Um, actually, if we look at that swipe file, there are three sections, three different checkboxes. So this is the terms and conditions, this is the privacy uh, agreement, and this is the GDPR uh, marketing opt-in. So you can delete any of those if you don't need to use all three. Uh, but let's go ahead and um, check how it looks on my order form so now let's go ahead and save this and over here we have the order form open so if we refresh this we should see a checkbox has been added or at least two checkboxes so the terms and condition and the privacy policy have both been added uh, one thing i forgot to do is actually make those uh, link to anything so what we'll do is we'll pop in here um, and right where this placeholder is this is where my, actually that's terms and conditions. This is where my privacy policy goes. So we'll paste that in there. And uh, then we need my terms and conditions as well. So let me grab that URL. That's going to go right here. And we'll click save, save as. Um, and then let's refresh this one more time. So now those two hyperlinks should open my legal uh, terms and conditions page and it does as well as my privacy policy and uh, that does as well so if somebody orders and checks those boxes not only are they you know giving consent but it also stores that back against their contact record so that should I ever need it I have a record of exactly when they ticked that box and and um, you know the the corresponding page they were on all of that information so um, the last thing I'll show you here is with that little snippet um, here, 
there are there's a there's some advanced functionality that they've added which is i think really smart so that the third checkbox the gdpr explicit one only shows up if they select if the purchaser is in a country in the european union so if I select United Kingdom, you can see I want to receive future discounts, offers, and free trainings, right? So they have to check that box because it only shows up there after United Kingdom. So for example, with privacy policy, if I wanted to do the same thing um, down here, uh, there should be show always as a designation and show always as a designation. So I can actually just change that to false and click save all. And now um, I should only have the terms and conditions checkbox unless a, a country in the European Union is selected. So we should just see one checkbox, terms and conditions, which is exactly what I want. That's what I've had previously. And then if they change it to some other country, Sweden, for example, boom, the other two checkboxes show up. So uh, it's easy enough to hide and reveal those checkboxes based on the country uh, because of the, the elegant way in which this um, snippet has been created. So um, that's it, guys. The Spiffy order form wrapper is incredibly intuitive. I think it looks great uh, with very limited um, alterations or modifications. Um, I'm going to get into the uh, to the actual builder here, and I'm going to make some changes, and I'm going to you know try to add some testimonials and uh, you know pimp this out a little bit further. Uh, but hopefully that gives you what you need to get started with Spiffy. Mm -hmm.